everyone. So in this video, I will be doing viewpoint number 11 in the book 40 Stories Celebrating 40 Years of Star Wars from a Certain Point of View. And in this viewpoint, it is Not For Nothing by Mer Lafferty. So in this viewpoint, it's the same time frame as the last viewpoint, which was from Greedo, only this time you get to learn more about the Frigrin, Dan, and the modal nodes, which is that band of Biths that are playing in Kalmoon's Cantina in Moss Eisley. So you get to learn a little bit more about that band, which uh, you find out that the modal nodes, they played at Jabba's palace before they played in that cantina. And they were actually there because of a bounty that was on Frigrand Dan's head. And uh, they turned in Greedo for what he was doing to be able to get freed from Jabba. But that's when they uh, went to go find a more uh, work and then they came into that cantina. As you find out that the Biths are in the worst place in the galaxy for a Biff uh, being on Tatooine because of the two all the heat from the two suns and and Biths have no eyelids so they get sand in their eyes and and it's um, all because of their leader Frigrin Dan but uh, the only reason that they stay with him is because he's the best leader they could have and uh, they call themselves the best band in the galaxy. Um, it's it's all through the point of view of this Biff that's in the Molo Nodes uh, named Ichabel. Uh, when they get to their new place in Moss Eisley, uh, Friggin' Dan and one of the other Biths named Tech go looking for work. The other ones that are left behind to clean the place notice that Greedo is, is snooping around. And so Ichabel goes looking for Friggin' Dan and Tech and then runs into the stormtroopers that are looking for two droids. Uh, Ichabel didn't know anything about it. So it's interesting when the two droids R2 and 3PO get kicked out of the cantina and Ichabel thinks about that again, about the, the stormtroopers looking for them and how they could maybe get a, a prize and be able to get out of Tatooine. In the end, when, when Greedo gets um, shot by Han Solo, um, Ichabel feels this relief that, in, you know, in the, the same day they get freed from Jabba the Hutt and also no longer have to worry about Greedo because uh, that whole time that Greedo was in the cantina, Cabell thought that Greedo was out for revenge against them for turning him in to Jabba when, the, when really Greedo was there for Han Solo and so uh, being that Han Solo saved their lives uh, without them even knowing Han Solo, uh, Ichabel felt that there was no need to turn in the droids to do them a favor in return. And uh, what I decided that I'll read in, from this chapter is actually a line that I kind of liked. We have a Wookiee on our side. What can go wrong? Uh, being that I'm, I really like Wookiees, I just... Uh, like that line. The Wookiee that they're talking about being Kamun, the owner of the cantina. Until next time.